Hello, I'm Howard Wiseman from Wiseman Cases here in London. I'd like to show you our range of trumpet cases. All of our trumpet cases are bespoke, handmade. We use a variety of materials. Most of them uh, in the past have been from a wooden construction, often with a leather covering. But these days, uh, we seem to sell more carbon fibre cases than anything else because of the extreme strength and lightness combined. All of our cases though are made to order for your specifications, not just the instruments that you're carrying and the combinations that you're carrying, but also the cosmetic preferences, preferences that you may have, uh, ranging from the uh, colour of the thread that we sew the handles with through to the colour of the carbon fibre or the colour of the leather on the outside of the case. So do stay with me and I will talk you through uh, the cases uh, ranging from our brand new single trumpet case, our double trumpet cases, our triples and our amazing case that's cabin friendly that will take four or five instruments. Do stay with me. So this is our brand new single trumpet case. All of our cases have the instrument or instruments suspended inside and I'll show you that in a moment inside this case. But we try and keep all of our instrument cases as close to being a round shape as we can because that is the most crush resistant shape. It also provides the smallest surface area and therefore the lightest uh, weight for the materials that are being used. So here we have it. Uh, our single trumpet case is oval which is uh, the most compact version uh, we could uh, build around the trumpet. This particular one is extremely light. It's a wooden construction. It's a really hard case. You could jump on it, stand on it, whatever you want. And it's the same sort of construction that we've used for years, but with a leather cover on top. By getting rid of the leather cover, we save a lot of weight. And the wood can be stained any of four or five different colors from mahogany, ebony, oak, uh, and walnut, and this is antique pine. And uh, that is done to your preference. And then this is yacht varnish to protect it and make it very, very weatherproof. And it's extremely easy to maintain should after some years it gets scratched or in any way uh, abraded, you can just uh, go over that small area with some varnish from your local hardware store. The other thing we've done on the outside is we have a pair of steel hinges. We have metal clasps at both ends and a handle on both the side and the end, both of which can be removed if you ever need to change them and will rip off if ever they get caught on an object and they'll rip off before they damage the case. That's the point. Also, another trick that we've learned uh, from 34 years of experience is we have made the areas that might wear removable, replaceable. So an overhaul can be done at a distance. So these leather edgings, they're permanent until you feel you want to change them. And then they actually just Velcro on. A couple of other features with this case I'd like to show you. All instrument cases have feet underneath the case to protect it uh, when you put it on the floor. What we've learned in recent years is that brass instruments in particular benefit enormously if you can actually add padding to the outside of the case. Relayed shock is the real danger to brass instruments where the parts of the instrument keep moving uh, or hit you know, the bell flare against the end of the case. So, We've actually made padded rubber ends. These are effectively a bit like gym mats. So if you drop this case on the floor, it's like dropping it on a gym mat, not dropping it on the floor. And these blocks, as you can see from here, are Velcroed on. So if after 10, 15 years or whatever, they've become you know, very chipped and beaten, again, wherever you are in the world, we can simply send new ones. They're extremely light as well. But the beauty of them, as you can see uh, now, when I drop this, is the case bounces. So it really is as though you've dropped it onto a protective mat. 
So inside the case, as you'll see in a minute, you've got suspension on the shock absorbing material. Why not have that on the outside of the case as well? It's totally waterproof and wouldn't matter even if you put it down in a shallow puddle. The other feature, just to finish with the outside, is the shoulder straps. These just simply pop it on at one end, Velcro off at the other so you can adjust the length that you want to set the strap at and it comes with a pair of these. So you can either sling this on your shoulder or if you've put the second strap on you just push it back, put your arm in and then you have a backpack effectively, a very very small one uh, for your trumpet. And you can even let this strap out and of course sling it across your body if that suited your needs as well. So now we can look at the inside of the case. Inside of the case, just flip the catches at the end and then we're in. And here you can see immediately how the instrument is suspended in the air. There is a neoprene seal all the way around the case on both sides and both sides get pulled together by the metal catches. And then the trumpet is suspended so that the bell is well clear of the end of the case. It is literally hanging in the air. For psychological reasons, we've added a padded cushion um, at, at the end of the case, both in the lid and the lower section. But in fact, the bell cannot touch anything. And that is because it is braced further up the instrument here. So this block, which is adjustable, and this block here are supporting the instrument from the casings at this end. And the trumpet cannot shift and put pressure on the bell. Now, underneath the trumpet, there is also room for a mute. This won't necessarily fit all brands of mutes, but it is there as a space that can be utilized if the mute that you have or choose to use fits at the end of the case. There's a mouthpiece holder, which uh, is foolproof because the blocking on the other side of the case stops just above the mouthpiece. There is also on the other side of the case, a storage area. Again, this is adjustable, it Velcros into the case. There is a removable pouch into which you can put accessories. And there is also uh, a photo sleeve. So you can put a picture of your family or your dog or whatever you want into the case as well. And when the case arrives in that photo sleeve, there will be your instruction sheet just to remind you of exactly how the trumpet is placed in the, in the case. So there you have it, plenty of storage, fantastic support with suspension. And when the case closes, the blocking in the lid actually locks the trumpet into place. So it cannot shift, it cannot move. And this block here locks on top of the mute as well. So the mute has no freedom. If it was a good fit, uh, it will be absolutely clamped in there by the rubber blocking. And that is the single trumpet case. So we're now going to look at the double and triple trumpet cases at the same time. They effectively are almost identical to each other. The double case is perfectly round. The triple case is effectively that same round case, but stretched to become an oval. So we end up with that shape instead. But this is no deeper than the diameter of the round double case. Both are available in either the lightweight carbon fibre. Here is the leather version of the double case. So the main pertinent uh, details are that the carbon case is lighter, considerably so. It has marine metal catches, whereas the leather one has the Velcro system, whereby you flick both corners and open the case. This is because of our lifetime guarantee. We use no zippers on any of our cases. The metal locks that we use and the Velcro system that we use last 
a very, very long time and they work beautifully with our lifetime guarantee. So that's the basic choice, wood with a leather cover or carbon fiber. All of the cases have our large A3 music pocket that wraps all the way around and the music goes inside of that pocket. And all of these cases have two backpack straps, so you can wear them on one shoulder or on your back. Now, we're going to have a look inside the triple case and put a couple of instruments in so you can see how the case operates in terms of supporting and suspending the instruments, which is the ultimate protection really for a brass instrument. So this is our triple trumpet flugel case. Most commonly, people are putting a B-flat and a piccolo in one side, and maybe a C and mutes in the other, or interchanging between maybe a flugelhorn, a cornet, a B-flat, etc. But this will take up to four soprano instruments, or a cornet or a flugel in one side, with one or two sopranos in the other. So this case, which is Model B, uh, Model B is an inch wider than Model A, and we recommend this width if you're trying to put, for example, a B flat and a C side by side with a flugel on the other half, uh, or if you have a very large flugel horn, this will fit all of the larger flugel horns. So onto the inside of the case. Now, I have loaded a couple of instruments into this case already. Model B allowing a B flat and a C side by side. This is actually a pair of B flats. And then on the other side, you would be able to set up, for example, a flugelhorn of any size. And the blocking uh, is all interchangeable. It's all color coded and it says inside the case behind the blocking what goes where. And if I now just quickly turn the case around so that you can see the two B flats being changed. If, for example, I've just had a gig where I've got a B flat and a C and a flugel horn, and then my next gig, I only need one soprano instrument on the side, let's say the B flat, then you can take the other instrument out. You can remove the central block. As you can see, it's coded and colored to show what goes where. You can put that instrument back and you can then hive off the now redundant area with this pocket. Into this space you can now put two or three mutes, various accessories, and that Velcro's down closed and of course still has the cushioned barrier between the two halves when you bring the case together. So effectively both the, this triple, Model A and Model B, and the double case that you've seen the outside of have inserts like this. Now if we go back for a moment to the double case, this one is very often used as a single case so that you have your B flat for example on one half and then all of your mutes in the other half. And the largest instrument that this case will cater for in a half is a cornet. So the moment you need a flugelhorn in your collection to go into these cases, you're onto the triple. If it's just one trumpet or two soprano trumpets, then this case is, is the one for you, unless you want to carry your mutes inside, in which case uh, two instruments plus mutes would go in here, one instrument plus mutes in here. Um, what I should add, is that all of these cases do come with a leather external mute bag as well with a leather strap that straps around the outside of the case. So you would have the option of filling this case with three or four trumpets and still having your mutes strapped to the outside of the case. It comes with that. So if uh, you are interested in a triple case, you might want to just check with us which model we recommend, whether it's a Model A or a Model B. Um, so you can simply drop us an email or call us up and we can advise. We'll now have a quick look at our amazing cabin friendly quad or quintuplet case.
So this is our travel trumpet case. It's got wheels and a pull-up handle, and it will take, amazingly, up to five instruments, and that includes the flugelhorn. Nearly every case that we've made over the last 34 years has uh, grown from uh, an initial order or uh, commission from a customer. We've never set out to do something different unless we've been asked to do so. And a few years ago, um, a very fine British trumpeter called Louis Dowdswell uh, asked me if I could make a cabin friendly case that was extremely strong and therefore uh, he didn't have to worry if he needed to put his trumpet case under the hold, uh, but that it would be small enough to fit with aeroplane regulations and to go uh, above or below the seat in an uh, aircraft. What Louis wanted to achieve was a case that could take all five instruments, piccolo, B flat, C, E flat, uh, and flugel, if he didn't know what he was going to be asked to play at a session. If, however, he knew he was going to need his B flat and his flugel, for example, and nothing else, then those would stay on one half, and the other half of the case would be used for his uh, concert uh, clothes, his dinner jacket, his shoes, his trousers, etc. So a truly versatile case, which also, by the way, is just a beautiful uh, wheelie luggage case, uh, which I'm sure Louis uses when he goes on holiday and doesn't take his trumpets at all. So uh, on a closer look, you'll see that this is stunning, beautiful carbon fibre. This happens to be red lacquered carbon. Uh, the most common uh, effect that we sell our cases is with unlacquered black. It doesn't really scratch at all easily, uh, whereas lacquered cases scratch rather more easily. You can see that there are also backpack uh, D-rings, so this can be worn as a backpack, and you have, as I've already referred to, an extendable handle. So this case can be uh, used on all four feet, or wheels, of course, or you can, of course, wheel it along on two wheels, whichever is your preference. Having used this extensively myself as luggage, uh, I always stay on four wheels. It just glides, it's absolutely beautiful. And we have got the highest quality uh, rolling wheels on there, which are in instantly replaceable, should they ever break. And the absolute magic trick, of course, is the inside of the case, which I will show you in a moment. So now for the magic trick. I'm gonna open the case and just slowly open it for you. So here we have a flugel, the piccolo, a B flat, a cornet, and another B flat. Obviously this will often be uh, replaced with a C, but these are the instruments that I have to hand. And as the case closes, it's the blocking from one side that locks onto the instrument at the other. So this locks onto this bell stem, this locks onto the flugel stem, this locks over the trumpet, uh, sorry, the piccolo bell. Uh, the piccolo is sunk into a block, so that can't lift. And basically everything is worked out so that there is no barrier required between the two halves. You have the best possible barrier, which is air and space. And there is actually room in this area to put a couple of mutes as well. Now I'm going to lay the case down so that you can see it from a different vantage point. Basically the, tray, the, the case opens out like a tray. And there are these Velcro straps that just secure everything in place. They're not needed once the case is closed because as I've explained, everything interlocks. But very, very reassuring should a baggage handler or someone at the airport open it. Everything is suspended. As you can see, you've got your flugel horn, your piccolo, B flat on this side. And this is the side that will for many users remain pretty constant and the other side will turn into luggage. There are special straps and a barrier for the other half to turn into luggage. 
If for a moment we look at the perimeter edge of this case, something that is really very special about the Wiseman cases is how we have turned the carbon fiber in at 90 degrees, then up at 90 degrees. This produces an incredibly strong edge, a bit like an I-beam in construction, with an upstand which locks into the other side and effectively um, works like a, a lid in a biscuit tin. So if I bring this half over, you'll see how this upstand clips inside of the other half. And then this neoprene airtight seal, which is all the way around the perimeter, is effectively clamped between the two halves when the lock is closed. So the security is amazing. You should be able to glide onto an aircraft with this without any problems. Uh, we do have uh, two models of this. This is model B. This has the larger end of the measurements that work for many airlines, but model A is about an inch and a quarter narrower and that will uh, be the one to choose if uh, you're using a variety of flights, airlines, uh, who may have the smaller measurements uh, as part of your requirement for flying. But we would still be able to fit at least four instruments in and quite possibly still five with the smaller Model A. So I'm gonna close the case now. Uh, simply bring it together, whether it's in an upright position or to the side and you're all set and ready to go. If you are interested in any of the cases that you've seen, you have only to contact us. You can write to us at sales at wisemancases.com or you can telephone us. And I should also note that the very first case that I showed you, our brand new single trumpet case, that is uh, certainly available directly from us, but in America, we have a fantastic dealer looking after that product. It's East Coast Trumpets, and uh, they're doing the very best to hold stock of that case should you wish to buy uh, the single Wiseman trumpet case. I look forward to making the perfect trumpet case for you at some point in the future.